Hey folks, Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon and Miniatures and another Workbench Wednesday, uh, the one that nearly wasn't. We have uh, apparently cable work being done in the area, uh, so we've had intermittent uh, internet this morning, which made everything very exciting, of course. Get the keyboard out of here. I don't need that anymore since everything's actually going, I hope. Minute and 34 seconds, good. It's still counting, so uh, we must be alive, I'll hope. Um, let's see. First, let me thank you for joining me on another Workbench Wednesday. It's always nice to know uh, there's an audience out there that wants to uh, hang out and get uh, nerdy with me. Uh, of course, is this, if this is your first time joining uh, Workbench Wednesday, please make sure you like, subscribe, click on the bells and whistles, everything you need to do to make sure that you keep up with what's going on, uh, both here for Workbench Wednesday and, of course, with Secret Weapon Miniatures. Now, let's see. What have I got for you today? Um, I have a bunch of fun stuff. Let me... Uh, change the white balance on that camera for you real quick. Wow, I'm very sorry about that. They had a uh, an update for me today, which is always exciting. I only knew there was actually a problem when uh, that'll have to do for now. Um, oh, that's actually the wrong setting. Let's pause that and change it. Uh, when I went to load our other um, broadcast software, and that wasn't working either. So, ooh, hey, look at that. And look at that. That is quite a bit more normal, given that I'm working on blue paper. I'm sure you see the difference. So I have a handful of goodies here today. Um, first off, I've already emptied this one. Uh, these are the old truck tires from Juila. Now, for our uh, friends in Europe uh, and overseas, you can, of course, get these from a lot of uh, European retailers, particularly in Germany. Uh, those of you in the US, uh, we import them for retailers and direct. And then, of course, the other one we have is the old tires car and since I'm playing with gas lands today I mean I want to show you guys the scale for these these are the car tires All right just about right a little small for most Hot Wheels but that's all right because we also have these truck tires which are just about perfect now they're ceramic so you're not gonna want to go you know sticking them on your cars but for some terrain maybe some uh, armor uh, on a vehicle it's gonna work really really well so I'm excited to play with these today. Um, the other thing, I was actually in the warehouse for the first time in a while, uh, just the other day, and I remember we made these really cool missile pods, uh, ostensibly for the uh, you know 40k crowd to put on their Terminators. But I suddenly realized, wait a minute, we have four completely unique designs of rockets and missiles. And I mean, come on, tell me this doesn't belong in a car? It totally does. If you thought not, you were wrong, and you should feel bad about that. So I'm going to play with putting these designs on cars today, because they're sweet. All right. And, of course, I picked up some more sets of our... Oh, getting ahead of myself. Gaslands Brass... Uh, little Gaslands Brass Etch. It's better than rubby, rubber baby buggy bumpers. I can't even do that one today. So that's set three, set one, and set two. And it's been a while since I just unboxed one of these and played with it, so it'll be nice to get back to that. And of course, get that out of the way. I picked up a set of our copper plate gothic letters um, and our Roman numerals. Figure I can have some fun with that. I'm actually going to try to put together a red and white Roman legion sort of thing. Um, but the other nice thing about the copper plate gothic is that it does have ooh, down here little tiny numbers. Okay. Lots of fun. So I can do some stuff with that. Um, 
And I did promise that I'm going to take some uh, raw gunpla plastic today, and I'm going to do some panel lining on it. Um, and I'll get to that in just a second. I've got everything ready to go for that. But I did promise some previews, and here's a fun one. Just got the first cast of these. Well, first casts. I have one retail package and one for me to play with. <laughs> First test mold. We got dinosaur bones! Sculpted for us by the incredible Jason Weeby. So these will be a fun little terrain accent. But of course, being me, I'm going to use them to make some bases. I, uh, very roughly through some putty down here just to test the idea of doing like a dig site and figure out how to make it look like there's actually string between the posts when it's cast um, so now I can leave it for you guys to string but who wants to do that so I'm trying to experiment with a way to get string to work on a base like this not exactly but so that it looks like it and you can paint it to look like string and it'll work instead of looking like you know a, a bar that comes up out of the ground that's not accurate. So I'm playing with stuff. New techniques for getting ideas to woo to work in resin that I keep being told can't. But that's all right. We'll make it work. Mm. All right, there's the preview. Let's get to the gumbo. So I grabbed uh, three colors, uh, somewhat comically, red, white, and blue, but they uh, happen to be what's on top from the kits that I had sitting around in the garage. Um, and I'm going to show you a quick way to do panel lines in a couple of pieces. I'm just going to pull a couple of pieces off. This is all stuff I picked up specifically for spares. I had intended to do a couple of fun custom, custom gun flow. Uh, this year, but the timing just hasn't been right. Been through a really long few months, kind of a rough year and a half. And it's been difficult to find it in myself to uh, work, never mind uh, do the parts I enjoy, like do the work that I have to do, never mind, part the, never mind the parts that I enjoy. It's all been difficult. Let's see. Did I grab a bunch of blue parts that I don't have good panel lines? I certainly did. So here we go. We've got a section over here. I'll just take these two. This chunk. A hunk of burning love. Or something. Like a chunk of burning plastic. That'd be very different. What about you? Which one do you really want? Yeah. All right. Check out our focus. Use the lights a bit. There we are. Always remember, it helps to make the noises. Focus on that. There it is. All right. So, uh, what I'm going to do is grab my handy dandy well palette here. And somewhere in front of me are, hiding behind my water conveniently enough. Uh, two bottles of the Secret Weapon Washes. Well loved, you can see. These are old labels. Um, they've lasted me a long time, but I've got my soft body black here, and I've got Amethyst. And I'm going to shake a shake a shake a shake them like, man. Oh, that's still wet. All right. My well palette has been upside down on top of the uh, my little uh, brush clean tub over here 
So I'm surprised to find that anything's still wet, but I guess whatever stuck in the lid did have a nice closed airtight environment. All right. So let's see. Let's start, of course, on the white piece because that's going to be the easiest to see. And we can have some fun with that. In fact, I'm going to start on this piece. This is going to be, I think, the most fun. I'm going to take some soft body black just to load up my brush and go and get that whole area. And you're like, but Justin, that looks like crap. And it does, and that's okay. We knew it would. Right, let's get some focus. Not some focus. Some zoom, 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 zoom. I feel like the Grinch. All the zoom, zoom, zooms. Can't stand all the zoom. Just kidding. I love the zoom. Can't stop me from zooming. All right. And for that other panel line right there, that's that off. Do I have a brush towel handy? No pun intended. Don't worry. I own my puns when I mean it. Brush towel. Being hot over here since I'm brushing for the moment. I'm going to get the uh, amethyst now. And I'm going to just pick up the piece. Maybe. Get the topped area there. And these little recesses over here. Get it right in that little recess. Okay, I'm going to set that aside to dry. And I'm going to come over to the red piece where I've got the amethyst loaded now. And let's see a good spot. Amethyst will give us a more interesting contrast than straight black. And you'll note I'm not really being gentle or careful or however you want to describe it. Get that big center line. I'm in fact intentionally being rough to show off the idea here. I will clean a little bit. No real reason not to. Sorry for the shine, but again, this is untreated gunfo plastic. No varnish on here at all. No anything. It's just straight frame. Out of the box into my hand. All right. Let's put some soft body this time. Now, one of the benefits, I know plenty of folks out there saying, well, you can do this with enamel easily enough, and that's fine, except that enamel is enamel. It's toxic, flammable, death liquid. And while I use a lot of it myself, I also enjoy opportunities not to use the toxic, flammable, death liquid as, you know, my go-to when there's an alternative. And in this case, the alternative is acrylic. Uh, so I always like that. It helps that in my case, I know exactly what goes into the secret weapon washes. Those of you that want to look up the recipes out there, thanks to Lester Bursley sharing them uh, with us, uh, you'll be able to look at them up too and see that it's made of safe materials. He had a great product and a great idea. Always shout out to him when I'm talking about the washes. Here we go. I'm actually on, front, on screen for once. Well done, Justin. Get myself a cookie later. All right, a little bit of cleanup, but not much. Now I'm ready to just clean off my brush, drink some water. Reach over here to my handy dandy drawer over here in my handy dandy container and I have in my hand a uh, my bottle of 99% uh, isopropyl this will certainly work with a uh, less um, 
a little less pure isopropyl. So what all I'm going to do is over my water container here is just put a little bit. Get that damp. Towel it off on my uh, well towel here a bit, and then come back over to my piece. And having zoomed you out, zoom you back in. So with the piece in hand. dry end now to see if there's enough isopropyl already on the model to help me clean that section and guess what it seems to be just like that we have a nice little panel line so I've managed to get in here to the little vents, the loops. All right. While leaving the area around them light, I've intentionally puddled a bit here on that ledge, but I don't have to. I can always come back in there later with a pen or a pencil. In fact, I'll show that off real quick. Let me show you one of my favorite things to do. Now this works better on a model that has some tooth to it. The gun for plastic does not have any tooth to it. Uh, which is nice because it works for you know a technique like this real quick i really need to find a way to mount that somewhere else so that's not taking me on crazy rides like that when i move the table let's see where's my technical pencil box everything is in its place now i have some uh, the last boxes of supplies behind me which is all model making stuff that i've decided i use often enough to bring into the house so i went through everything that i'd taken out to the garage uh, but now everything on the wall over here is in these handy dandy little bins. I keep everything in its place again. So I'm going to grab one of my technical pencils here. This is my half mill. Zero point three. So smaller than a half mill. This might be too small for the gun for plastic here, but let's find out. Boom. Totally works. How well? Let's uh, find a spot on this over here. I'm gonna outline these little panels. Don't worry about the overage. We can take our finger to it, take an eraser to it. That's just hitting a pencil right over the raw gumpla plastic. Raw gumpla. Don't need to repeat myself. So let's remember these nice purple lines here, including into the lubes on the back, all started as a very sloppy application of amethyst wash. Cleaned up with a bit of isopropyl on one end, dry on the other. Boop, boop, boop. Let me check one thing out here real quick. Okay, that's what I thought. Try this again. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, Streamlabs is now not catching our chat. Um, and that seemed unlikely to me. So I have uh, opened a window here uh, so that I can actually see uh, see the folks that are commenting. So let me close that. Hey, hey, all right. So Charles, woo, welcome. And Jordan, 
Uh, so let's see, I can actually answer some questions here. Um, and yes, Charles, this is from the Master Gundam Ken. I picked up the uh, kit for the horse specifically. I wanted to work on a centaur build. And uh, it's, you know, still on the to-do list, but I haven't gotten to it yet. I have other Gumpla projects I'd like to do first, in fact. A little more ISO. Viola. Wait, no, that's not right. Voila. All of our panel lines in amethyst. I mean, I didn't bother to clean up over here yet, but I mean, might as well. Yeah, Charles, I'd really love to see uh, how the rest of your kit comes together. Uh, and let's see, for Jordan, uh, that is a regular mechanical pencil. Um, in this case, it's the, uh, what, Graph 1000 4 Pro 0 0.3 millimeter Pentel. Uh, PG-1003 is the uh, part number on it. And that's the smallest that I have, but I have... Uh, Three mechanical pencils at different sizes that I use for this. Let me put my cup back where it belongs. All up there on the pegboard. All right. I'm not going to bother with that one because we've already shown this off. And honestly, I want to play with some other stuff. But uh, yeah, here's a look again at the pieces we did using the secret weapon washes. Just a bit of isopropyl uh, tissue. And then I'll skip the blue because you've seen it on the red. Same idea. And here's the one we did originally. You can see the nice shadow in all of the loops. The highlight on top. Easy peasy. All right. Wow, we're going to start next. So I have some ideas. But, uh, close that up. Might as well show off. Um, this is one I started a long time ago. One of the first of the uh, Gaslands videos I did. So this is my twin engine. Car. It's purple and pink and I love it. And I'm going to play with this grill today, I think. I'm really happy with this piece, so I'm going to use one again. But yeah, it gave it a nice white stripe weathered it up. I still need to finish the uh, tires and add a bit of uh, more uniform mud on top of everything else that's down there. And then, yeah, this one will be up in the Etsy shop, too. That was a fun one to do. But let's see. Today, I have all these wonderful, beautiful tires. And I'm thinking about making some terrain, but I'm going to put that on second place compared to playing with cars because I have, I'm not saying I have a problem. <laughs> Most of these are drilled out too. A lot of them are in pieces. Um, but uh, yeah, I might have a few cars to choose from. Let's see. You're not drilled out, but you're fun, so I might use you anyway. Mm, drilled out some tracks. Oh, that's the one that hurt me. Huh. And uh, the bus. I already have plans for the bus. 
This thing's fun. I can use that. Just taking to see which of these are already taken apart. That's taken apart. Mm, that's not, but it doesn't need to. Hit right over those windows. Oh, the Volkswagen. Man, I need to get back to this one. That's what I need right there. Boom. I'm going to do this for the uh, Volkswagen competition on the uh, gas tank stage. Like I said, I got a bit distracted. This was the start of the other rig. And I like it, but I don't like this bit, so I'm actually going to take that off. I might get back to this today. Now this is one, my son gave me this, and I'm not even sure I need to do anything except to detail it. <laughs> because, I mean, come on, it's Gru. He's going to win. He needs his own rules. Oh, not drilled. Oh, these might all be unfilled. I might be mixing my containers. Well, that's fun. The bug-inspired cars, but I mean to change the wheels. Yeah. Which means, hypothetically, all of these are drilled, and I should have, yep, big wheels in here, small wheels in here, too. Alright, so I'm going to ditch this. It's almost like I ordered those at some point, too. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's see. Good start. I'll take this guy out. All right. So I now have a. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Um, it was kind of a surprise too. Somebody gave it to my son, and uh, it's probably the first gift I've seen him get where he gave it away pretty much right away. Like I was excited about it, and he liked it because Hot Wheel. But it wouldn't go down any of his Hot Wheel tracks, of course. Um, and so he became less excited about it very quickly. And so it turned around within a couple of hours and was like, you know, Papa, would you like to have this? And I'm like, yes, give it to me. Anyway, might have been a little less dramatic, but. All right, so I have a handful of cars here, including this little gas rig that I'd started at one point. You can see I put some spikes and skulls on it, but yeah. Um, this is probably too much of a project for today because I would want to focus on just this. I actually planned to turn this into a post-apocalyptic uh, rig. I already got the first section of plastic in here, which is too thin. I need to bulk that up um, because I was going to make this a little gun room. So there was guns sticking out of here, but then keep the kitchen portion and all of this intact, uh, particularly since there's so many fun things to paint inside of here. I mean, you've got a little game controller or RC car uh, here. Um, is what I meant, uh, the RC car and controller. Um, so I could actually paint that up for the uh, remote control bomb, um, the food on the table. Uh, you know, I can have a lot of fun actually turning this into some post-apocalyptic nightmarish kitchen thing. Um, and I'll incorporate that post here in the back uh, with another gun by getting rid of the uh, awning that would be here. Just get rid of that um, and make that another gun mount. But that's, like I said, a big project, and I have plans for that, so I'll set that aside for now. But I have this great um, old, I can tell, because it's hard metal, um, instead of the more soft plastic versions of the mail truck today. Um, mail car, mail van. Uh, this fun piece, I, uh, this one's a Hot Wheel, or a Matchbox, excuse me, um, from their Rescue Series. Uh, first off, this rig on the outside um, comes off. So I can do that separately. And then, yeah, 
the body comes off. So I am going to play this one today because I've been looking forward to that. But it does mean planning around the this thing. I'd have to do those separately and then detail it separately. So maybe not. I'm talking myself out of projects here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with two plain, simple cars. So I don't get carried away and start thinking to myself, hmm, maybe I could just make all of this better with some, with some tracks. Gas tracks, tracks. Now I've got uh, 